It's time for another real estate market update. This month, we're discussing the Knoxville real estate market update for May 2021, and we're getting started right now. Welcome back to All Things Knoxville with me, Ben Barreto, your local real estate pro and relocation expert for East Tennessee. Today, we're going to discuss the most recent housing market data for the U.S. economy, and then the local data for Knoxville, Tennessee. In this video, we're going to cover the numbers for the month of May. Before we jump into that, though, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then like this video. It really helps out my channel and ultimately my business, which of course helps out me and my family. So my wife and daughter, thank you for your support. And of course, I appreciate it too. And as always, if you need a realtor for any reason, give me a call. My contact information is in the description. Now let's jump into today's video. The national inventory of active listings dropped by 51% from last year, while the total inventory of unsold homes, including pending listings, declined by 21%. Newly listed homes on the market are up 5.4% nationally compared to last year, and by 12.4% for large metros over the past year. Sellers are still listing at a lower rate than previous years, so don't forget about that. The main national median list price for active listings was $380,000. That's up 15.2% compared to last year. Large metros saw an average price gain of 7.4%. Nationally, the typical home spent about 39 days on the market in May. That's 32 days less than this same time last year. Overall, we're still dealing with a low inventory crisis, but we are seeing more homes come onto the market but they're still getting snatched up as fast as ever. Home prices are still going up at a, and at a fast rate and show no signs of change anytime soon. Now let's talk about the Knoxville number. With the exception of last year, the number of new listings entering the market in May seems to be about the same each year. Last year, however, mostly due to the uncertainty of COVID, there was a big hole in our listing activity in April and May which gave us a pretty big year over year increase. And of course, any increase in this metric is always welcome. The number of active or available listings is still way down, but I think if we stay focused on the fact that the number of new listings entering the market appears to be fairly steady, we can imagine that sellers aren't necessarily sitting in their homes refusing to list, but rather, but we're simply seeing incredibly fast sales activity which keeps the listings from lingering on the market too long. Pending sales is way up compared to other data. However, many believe that we're simply seeing a continuation of activity that actually started last June when we reached the numbers we're experiencing now and that we're retaining those numbers throughout from last year. So there's no surprises here. Closings have been unusually similar during March, April, and May this year. Not counting 2020 that was affected by COVID, the selling season typically takes off in March, continues into April, and then accelerates even more into May, but not this year. I believe it's because we have a sales bottleneck. Literally, our closings are stunted because demand is greater than what's available. Also, there's a huge increase in the sales of off-market properties that don't make it onto our MLS sales figures. So perhaps this number is actually higher, but the MLS simply doesn't have the data for those off-market deals. Not much movement over here over the spring sales season, but if history repeats itself, when we compare it to the other normal years, we may see this number increase a little bit as we enter the summer months and more homes are listed. You can see that in 2020, there was a sudden decrease in supply between May and June due to the significantly reduced number of listings entering the market compared to the increase in sales being made. Listen, if you'd asked me last year if I ever thought that the Knoxville Area Association of Realtors, MLS, average sales price would reach over 300,000 to 325,000 from a $250,000 average in one single year, the answer would have been heck no. But it's true, driven solely by demand for our wonderful area uh, and the demand for homes, there will come a time when, but there will come a time when inflation, rising interest rates and home prices that are out of the ballpark will bring this back into line. 
but it appears we're not going to be getting there anytime soon. The average days on market is 22 days from listing to closing or at least to being placed in the pending status. This is no doubt due in part to the fact that some clients are for, for they're foregoing home inspections and we're seeing more people paying cash. Some of the normal contract delays just aren't there, which allows for these faster closings. Once again, discounting what happened this time last year due to COVID, our showings typically wake up in March, then tend to relax a little bit during April and May, and then eventually level off over the rest of the summer. This May was almost identical to last May, which seems to mark the first month that showings were back on track after taking a big COVID dip. Well, that's it for this month's real estate market update. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, if you have any questions or you want more information, don't hesitate to give me a call. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this month's real estate market update and have a great day.